Blood of the Amazon follows one woman's journey from the headwaters in Ecuador down the Amazon to Brazil. This journey uncovers some shocking truths as she investigates the impacts of the oil industry on the environment and indigenous people who live there. We did not, Texaco did not contaminate uh, uh, the Oriente. Ahí hace pozo, entonces hay contaminación. Entonces todo el río, este río de Eno, si va, no, no. Texaco operated in the Oriente and operated in a safe and sound manner. Ellos dijeron que habían limpiado todo y se fueron. No están limpiados. Pero quisiera que se solicita que los señores peritos investiguen que en el, si en el evento de existir contaminación aquí, esto podría o no afectar al ecosistema general de la área y por tanto a la fauna y a la flora. From the world's largest environmental lawsuit and the massive contamination in the Amazon to incredible new solutions, this is a story which has gone largely unreported. Doctors, oil company representatives and missionaries are amongst some of the voices we hear. Primarily, this is the story of the people of the Amazon. Quieren sacar el líquido que tiene nuestra madre tierra, entonces nosotros que luchen nuestros esposos para que no pueda entrar. O sea, mejor como han dicho que si es guerra, haremos guerra con ellos. As the indigenous resistance grows and the world learns to wean ourselves off of our addiction to oil, maybe the last wild places can be saved. Yasuni National Park, deemed the most biodiverse area on Earth, is under threat from the discovery of oil. But will the exciting new initiative to leave the oil in the ground go ahead?